there, this is Morgan with Morgan Burke's Photography and Product Shop. And today I'm gonna to show you how to use the free Facebook business page cover photo template. It's quite the mouthful. Um, okay, so this is the file once you open it. It's a Photoshop file. Um, the size is 7,426 pixels by 3,260 pixels. Um, it is one of the Facebook recommended sizes. I just duplicated it or multiplied the dimensions so that it's a little bit larger and can show up um, as high resolution when you open it in like a like on a computer screen anyway um, so it's color coded hopefully to make it a little easier on you to use uh, so I'm going to show you how to apply your images to it so once you open it again this is what it looks like um, and I'm going to show you my favorite way to add images in here and I'm going to show you some alternate ways too, just in case okay so first I'm going to go to file and I'm going to go to place embedded um, actually before I do that I want to show you okay so the center image is gray, and so if you look over here in your layers panel, you can see the center image gray. Um, you'll also see right above it, there's two color-coded layers here. The one right above it says drag image below this layer. This is, let's say you have an image already open here in your Photoshop panel. You can kind of drag and drop it onto this template and then drag it below this layer. And again, I'm gonna show this in action, so if it doesn't make sense yet, it will. Uh, but if you are using place embedded, which is my favorite way, you're going to select the image or sorry, select the layer that says drag image below this layer. So you're just going to make sure that that is the one that's clicked. Um, and then you're going to go to file place embedded. Okay. So here are the images I've chosen to add to my collage. Um, I'm just going to choose the one I wanted in the center and then hit place. Um, so you'll notice that when you um, select place embedded, it automatically turns your image into a smart object. So what it does is it changes that layer right there. You'll notice it has a different name now. It's the name of the file I opened. Um, and you'll notice the bounding box automatically pops up. This allows you to resize your photo. Um, if you've ever noticed when adding images to a collage or putting multiple images in one, uh, that sometimes they can get kind of squished or um, distorted then what you'll want to do is you'll want to check this little link icon up here in the top panel and what that does is it just keeps your dimensions in line so that when you stretch it will never get um it won't get distorted or um, stretched funny so it just kind of maintains those proportions for you so what you're going to do is you're just going to resize this into the frame and what i like to do is just make sure that none of um the that all the edges kind of line up with the template so none of that gray rectangle shows through <clears throat> and you can do this I mean honestly you could leave it out like this if you wanted it to be sort of like a, a zoomed in angle of your photo I want it to fit in there as much as possible so I'm just gonna put them put these lines on the edge here and then drag this up so none of that gray is showing and you can play around with the specific placement for your image. Um, so once you're done, you can either hit the enter key on your keyboard or hit the check mark up here along the top panel and it will accept those changes. And so now you've added that image here into the gray center space. Okay, so for the next one, um, it's color coded blue. It's this top blue one right here. Um, so it says top left outer corner. Hopefully this is not too confusing. Um, that's why I color coded it because there were a lot of layers and even I was getting confused and I made the thing, so. Um, okay, so what you're going to do is again, select the layer that says drag image below this layer. And then you're going to go to file, place embedded, and place your photo in there as well. So I'm going to choose another one of the same girl and just pop it in there. And you'll notice that when you place these photos, they place right in the center. So you'll have to drag it over the space you want to add it to in order to see it in the little window. Okay, so again, I want to hit that little link so that my photo doesn't get squished and then just put it right in here. Okay. And so then you can hit the check mark when you're finished. And if it's not perfectly aligned in here, just grab your move tool and you can adjust it later as well. You can also use the arrows on your keyboard to just nudge it over um, to make some more subtle adjustments in there. Okay, so again, you're just gonna continue with this the whole way. You're gonna, the next one is the red panel. Um, so you're just going to select the, the two red layers. You'll hit the one that says drag image below this layer. <clears throat> and you would go to file, place, embedded again. Um, I'm going to show you another way you can add images to this as well. It's not my favorite, um, but I do want to show it to you just in case. So we're going to go to file and then go to open. So let's just say you had like a another image open in here. And we'll just click this one. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to grab your move tool click right on the image here 
and then drag, oops, cancel. Okay, so we're just gonna click on it and then just drag it over to this document. Now you don't wanna let go until you notice that little plus sign next to your mouse. So you'll drop it on there. <clears throat> and see here, it just kind of went above the layer that says drag image below this layer. And again, if I move this, you can see we're working on this red box here. So we want to make sure that we drag this layer below this one that says drag image below. So we're gonna put it between the two layers that are color coded red. I hope this is making sense. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna drag this layer. We don't have to click on the template. We're just gonna drag right here in this layer and drag it below. And so you'll notice once um, it does that, it disappears because I moved it out of the way. When you use your move tool to drag it back over, it'll show up in that same window. Now what you will have to do is go to edit free transform or use control T on your keyboard in order to resize the image. If you use place embedded, it automatically pops that up for you. Um, but if you use this method, it doesn't. So I'm just gonna place that in there and select that. Um, and there was basically, once you add all these photos in here, I wanna show you the reason that place embedded is my favorite. So in this top right pink layer on my template, I had an image that I'm gonna hit the layer that says drag image below this layer and I'm gonna pop that in there by hitting file, place embedded and place this photo. So if you'll notice, all the other photos have a little bit of a darker tone to them. And this one, I really loved this image, but it was lighter than all the rest. So once all the images were in the template, it looked out of place. So I'm gonna show you what I did. Hit file place and just install it or apply it to this template like you would all the others. Again, I'm gonna hit that check or that link box. You can also hold down your shift key, but sometimes if you accidentally let go of shift, um, your, your distortion, uh, the distortion on the photo can happen. So I like to use the link just in case, that little link icon. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop this in there, okay, and place it in here, and then hit the check mark. Okay, so I notice a little weirdness under, like there's some mountains behind them, so it makes the edge of the template look a little funny. So that's when I would make sure my move tool is selected and just hit the up arrow key on my keyboard and tap that up. I just wanna make sure that the bottom of the photo still covers the bottom of that um, pink template box. If it doesn't, you can go back into Edit Free Transform and just stretch it a little to um, give you some more room to work with. Okay, so the reason I like to use Place Embedded is because the fact that these are smart objects. So once I had all the images in this template, like I said, this one looked too light. So what you can do is you can double click this image in the layer panel. So I'm just gonna click right on the thumbnail. And what it does is it pulls that image into its own panel over here. Now what I can do is I can edit this image and just apply a couple tweaks. I'm gonna use a levels layer to do that. And I just wanted to darken the midtones a little bit. And then I grabbed a paintbrush and just kind of swept the color off of them. So they still look bright but the rest of the image is dark. And I just did this quickly. It's a small template and it's just for my Facebook cover photo, so it didn't have to be perfect. If you are gonna print this collage for a client or something, you'll definitely wanna take a little more time than I did. Um, but I just removed the darkness off of them so that they have uh, you know, the focus in the, in the photo and the background is still dark. Um, okay, so what you're gonna do is after you've made your adjustments to this photo, um, maybe you wanted to change it to black and white or whatever, um, you'll hit file and you'll go to save. Okay, and then you'll hit okay. It says I have to flatten it. So I'm just gonna flatten this as much as I hate to do that. Um, I'm, and then I'll go back to file save. Okay. So it is updating it. Takes a second because I'm recording a tutorial too. So it's a little bit longer. Okay, so you don't notice any changes here, it just saved it. But when you go back to your template, the photo is now darker. It saved your editing adjustments. And if you can't really tell, you could, do, you could go back to the photo and you could, um, let's say, make it black and white. Okay, so I'm just gonna flatten this just so you can see. I left all mine in color for my Facebook cover photo. Um, but here I'll make it black and white, flattened it because they're forcing me to. Hit save again. Again, just wait for it to save, and then you can check your template when you're done, and it's black and white. 
So basically it just saves your adjustments and allows you to kind of tweak and edit each individual photo in here instead of having to re-bring them into the template, um, edit them in an image and then drag them in here and resize them all over again. I just, I think this is pretty neat and kind of cool. So uh, I wanted to share that with you. I'm gonna open this back up and just undo those that last black and white adjustment. I just did Alt Control Z on my keyboard and it got rid of that. And then you can go to File Save. back to your template and it's color again. So um, hopefully this helps. If you um, accidentally click the wrong layer, let's say that you didn't um, select the layer that says uh, drag image below this layer. So I'm gonna show you on one here. Um, so I'll do the yellow little section up top. So let's say that you didn't select the one that says drag image below this layer. You just, you accidentally had this one clicked or something like that. I'm gonna show you if you go to file, place embedded, and you choose the image that goes in there. So just hit place. And you'll notice it doesn't pop into that little square. So what you're gonna do is just resize it how you would um, as much as you can right now without being able to see it actually fit into that window. So I'm just gonna make it as, as small as I think I might need. Okay, and then hit your check mark. And what you'll have to do is you'll have to right click on that layer and select create clipping mask. And this will pop it right down there into that little template for you. So if you accidentally have the wrong layer selected, it doesn't place it in that little um, window for you. You have to do it yourself. Just again, by right clicking and selecting create clipping mask. Okay, so I think that is it. You kind of get the idea from here. If you have any questions at all, just send me an email at morgan at morganburks.com or you can find me on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash photography. I hope you have fun creating a new Facebook cover um, and thank you so much for watching. Have a good one.